Hey, Wednesday and God got me coming on here again. Um, as I was just spending time with God, listening to my mentor and just r really paying attention. God is telling us that it's time to pick a side. Like we have to pick a side. Like you have to choose this day whom you will serve. We can't be in too many, too many people that claim they're a Christian or a kingdom living on both sides of the fence or they 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 idol worshiping they worshiping men they worshiping bishop the prophet they preacher like they're worshiping other things other than god but they say they believe and they work and they believe and they will follow they believe and they follow after god but they're not worshiping god and god is saying it's time to stop playing both sides of the fence in the church people are thinking it's okay to go party all night go to church sunday morning um in the bed with this man, in the bed with this woman that's not your wife, that's not your husband, and then go to church the next Monday, I mean the next morning or uh, on Wednesday, be in the choir, all this stuff. God sees everything. God sees it all. And God is saying today you have to pick. You have to choose whom you're going to serve. You got to get that unforgiveness out your heart. You got to get that um, selfishness out your heart. You got to get that um, anger out your heart. Like everything has to go. And with God help, it will go. But you have to seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and he will help you. He will assist you in this. I'm speaking because the same thing happened to me. Like, God is pruning me. God is telling me, like, you know, showing me certain things I have to do. Remember I told y'all, like, God showed me certain things I have to do for us with my mama, for us with my kids, for us with my spirit, how I, how I do things. I, like, at one point, I thought I could be a Christian and sell this and sell that. No, God ain't said, told me I can do that. I can't play both sides of the fence. I can't say I'm a believer in Jesus Christ and I worship Jesus Christ, but I'm out here doing these things that are that are of the devil. I can't do that. You can't do that. We can't do that. We have to do things God's way. And God is saying, it's time to pick a side. You either on his side or you on Satan's side. Ain't no in between. If you're lukewarm, he gonna spit you out your mouth. So you gotta choose this day whom you gonna serve. Like, you gotta pick a side. And when you pick a side, make sure you stay on it. Only if you pick kingdom. Let me take that back. Because if you pick the devil, I pray to God that you don't stay on that side. I pray that you wake up and you choose Jesus and you come back to the winning team. I don't pray that... You, I pray that you don't stay on that side. So I hope you, when you pick a side, I hope you pick the right side. I say that. I hope you pick the right side. I hope you pick kingdom. Because that's the way, that's the truth, and that's the light, kingdom. So I just want to encourage y'all to pick the right side. Pick a side and make sure you pick the right side because tomorrow is not promised. It's so much going on in this world. It is so much going on in this world that it's obvious that we ain't got that much time left. We ain't got that much time. I ain't saying it. I don't know when it's going to be. It could be 20, 30 years from now. But to God, that ain't a lot. That ain't a lot of time. And 20, 30 years going to come so fast. This year, it's almost over with already. So it's time to get in your purpose and do what God told you to do. If you want to see his blessings in the land of the living, it's time for you to do what he told you to do now. Don't wait till the last minute. It's time for you to get your life together. Now, it's time for us to get together and fight these demonic spirits, all this stuff that's going on in the world, all this evilness, evilness, all this sexual immorality, homosexual, lesbianism, all this uh, sex, all this weird stuff that's going on in cartoons and all the stuff that's being taught to our children. Kingdom kids and Christians are really not standing up like we should. And it's time for us to stand up for what's right and do what God tell us to do. That's the time. It's time. I love y'all. If you don't know Jesus, this is how you get to know Jesus. First, you have to believe that he's the son of God. No man comes to the father except through the son. Second, you have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins, which he did. He died for you. He died for me. He died for the world. Third, you had to ask him to come into your life and to save you, and you will be saved. If you did that, welcome to the winning team. Get on these YouTube channels. Get you in a good Bible-based church and let your light shine in your church. Remember, I told you, you are the church, your body. But you go to the church to cast out demons and devils out your church. And you go to church to fellowship and to love on other members. That's, and listen to what your preacher got to say. He might speak a word that I, God already resonated in your spirit. And you go to church and your preacher just confirm it. But somebody in the church confirm it. So that's why we go to church. We go to church for fellowship and to hear the word of God. I love you guys. Y'all have a great Friday.